welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two super easy Halloween crafts using items from the Dollar Tree. Hello friends. So it's been a hot minute since I have recorded and posted a craft. It's okay cause life gets in the way. Life gets in the way and sometimes you just can't do things that you wanna do. But anyway, what do we have here? I have three of these. These are these little miniature wooden crates from Dollar Tree. I also have some chalk paint here. Now, if you don't have chalk paint, you don't have to use chalk paint. That's just what I'm using because I have it on hand and it is the color pumpkin, which is appropriate. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take off the labels because if you don't, the label police will come after you. And now all that we're going to do is make a mess. Come here. We're gonna paint them orange as if you didn't know what I was going to do next. We're just going to paint these orange and then let that dry. Now I'm usually using spray paint, but I don't have any orange spray paint. So you just use whatever kind of paint that you want to. And I want to paint these inside and outside, all three. Okay, so this has pretty much dried. And now what I have, let me show you what we're going to be putting in these. Look, look at these little skeletons. These came from Dollar Tree. The speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. And I think, oh, look right there. That's not dry. Let's turn it over. I think this guy, no, this guy, well, he'll barely fit. But um, we're going to make it so that these little skeleton guys can sit down in there. So first off, what we're going to glue on the top for the stem is just these wood stems. <laughs> wood stems for the stem. And of course, these came from Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna find one that we think is a good size. This'll work. And we're gonna glue that to the top. And we'll say this is the top. This is the top that I want to show. Okay. So now we're just going to glue this on. Like so, don't worry about all that glue showing because I'm gonna cover that up here just in a second, okay? Stop. Okay, so we have that, and then we have some of this Spanish moss, which is in a filthy, filthy bag. I don't know why the bag is so filthy. That's kind of disgusting, actually. And then we're just going to get the glue strands off of us. My hands are covered in paint, but you know what? I've been having a good time with this video, so that's all that rightly matters. And now you're just going to take your moss, just gather it around like so around the top let's see let's get that like so i keep getting out of frame i've got my table and my chair and everything is moved a little bit differently than what i'm used to so if i keep getting out of frame i apologize for that all right so now here's our little pumpkin and then our skeleton guy let's take the, let's take him and then he can sit down inside of the pumpkin however you want him to face, just like so. And I don't think I want to glue him down because I have these like in my, in my little craft room here and I like to move them around. You know, I don't, I don't want them to be in one place. So I may not want them to be in these pumpkins forever, you know? So let's just put a little bit more moss in there. That should be enough. But anyway, let's glue. Oh, I need another glue stick. All right, I got the glue stick. <laughs> So now we're going to just put this in here and then we're going to cram some moss in there. Like so, do I need more? That should be enough. Okay. And then we're just going to put our little skeleton guy in there like so. And then there is that pumpkin. Like I said, these other ones, they will go in there as well once I get the other, the other pumpkins made. All right. So moving on. All right, carrying on with my messy, messy table, I have some of these ornaments from the Dollar Tree. These are the Color Your Own Wooden Ornaments, the Little Ghosties, and the Witch Hats. So y'all probably seen these floating around all over Pinterest and other places, but um, I think they're cute and I wanna do some poo. So we are going to take one of these witchy hats and one of the ghosties, and the ghost is going to be the beard part of our little guy here. And so we are going to carry on painting. This is just chalk paint. 
and the color is pumpkin. And we are going to paint this witch hat and then we're gonna set it aside and let it dry. Now for the ghosty part, whatever color you want for a beard. You can paint it brown, white, gray, whatever color you want for the beard of your little gnome. That's what you're gonna paint, the ghost. Ah, so I'm gonna work on this and come back. Okie dokie, so I do believe that this is dry. If it is, it is. If it's not, <laughs> I'm about to make a mess. Um, let me get my little sponge brush here. And then what I wanna do is just put a few little, stop, just a few little um, accent points on this hat. I think, nope, there's a tiny little spot right there that's not quite dry. But um, just kinda go around the edge just a little bit, not a whole lot, just a little bit, like so. And then I may just dab, dab, dab a little paint, you know, up in here somewhere. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Just play around with it. But anyway, I'm gonna add this and then we are going to add on a little bit of ribbon and some spiders. All right, so I believe I'm just about done with this. Just tap a little bit more paint on it there. Okay, so you see like how the hat, where it kind of like would, would wrinkle, I just put a few lines there. Oh, let's fill this one in just a little bit more. There we go. And then I just kind of put a little bit of splotchy paint. It's trying to get away from me, <laughs> a little bit of splotchy paint, and then a little band right here. Now this part, I didn't want it to be stark white, so I think what I'm gonna do is, let's do the same thing with some of this black paint. But like I said, this is gonna be the beard. So wherever you would want the beard to be highlighted, or add depth dimension, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna paint it the same way, in the same manner that we did the hat. Let's get a little bit of paint, dabby, 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 to not get too much, and I'm just going to go around the edges and maybe add in some lines here and there and then we'll put it together all right I think I'm just about happy with this with the way that this looks okay yeah I think that's good so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the bag of spiders that we had earlier and now we don't know where they are nope here they are here we go. These are just tiny, tiny little spiders. I got these at Walmart. But first, I think I want to glue the hat down and then I need a wooden bead. I'm gonna be using a wooden bead for the nose and there is one right there. So I'm gonna put the hat on first and then let's see, because we gotta cover, ooh, we gotta cover that. So let's just put the hot glue up around here be careful around the little eyes and mouth hole so that you don't ooze it everywhere. Now watch me make a mess. Now that I said that, watch me <laughs> watch me ooze glue. It's going to ooze through. Let's see. Is that correct? Yeah, that looks okay. All right, so now this is the little nose. Let's see. Put the nose. Yeah. Right there will be fine. And just plop that down there and then yeah, I guess that's okay. We're gonna put on some spiders. So this is what we have now. And then we're just gonna glue on these spiders and this little guy is gonna be done. Um, you know, you can run your ribbon or what have you up through the top there and hang him. Do you have a Halloween tree? I like Halloween trees better than I like, whoa, what is that? You hear, you hear the corgi and they're barking? If you follow me on um, pretty much any form of social media, you know that we just recently got a corgi puppy. And his name is Hamilton. He's in there barking. Whoa. So let's see. Do I want to put another one? No. I think I think that one is just fine. What do y'all think? I think the one is just fine. I think if I put more, I think it's going to be too many. So you know what? Let's just leave it at one. I think that'll be fine. But anyway... Now, I'm just gonna let him sit there and make sure all the paint is dry and then I can hang him up somewhere. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give this video a like, 
hit subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. I'll see y'all later.